Hello, I'm Matt from Ludovox.fr and today I'm going to give you an overview of Get On Board Paris and Roma. This is a flip and write game for 1-5 to five players ages 8 and up and it plays for around 30 minutes. It is in the Get On Board range and this is a flip and write game in which you're going to um, make a metro line and you want to convey passengers to the right places. Flirts to restaurants, students to cinemas and tourists to um, places of interest in the city you play in Roma with one to three players and in Paris for four to five players. So how do you play? Well, as you can see, there is a central map and you start somewhere in this map and you also have common objectives. But every single player is going to have their sheet and they all have to be different at setup. Then you're going to elect an inspector and that inspector is going to flip one of those metro tickets and you can start playing. In this case, it's the 7. So 7 means that we are going to be playing this ticket, which means I have to place three sections like so. And I will have to place them according to my line. And in this case, for example, I could place them like so. I don't have to make any turns and I could spend resources to make turns, but I'm happy with this. I'm going to take resources that I cross, in this case a tourist, I circle it up, a, uh, a flirt on a light background, a metro stop, I will circle it, and finally a student. And that's the end of my turn, we may move on to the next player's turn. As you can see, they have either kind of an S or a U. And they don't really want to do either, so they will cross one of those. And one of those maluses allows you to remove one turn or to add one turn to the shape, the pattern you're going to make. So they are going to make an L, and as they make an L, they collect those resources. So uh, a darker background flirt, a metro stop, and a tourist, and we move on to the next player. They have two sections, and they will collect a flirt, and they will drop it to a restaurant. And that's it for the first turn. We may then move like so, give the inspector token to the next player, they will draw a card and we continue playing like so. Obviously you're making one single metro line so you have to connect the pattern that you are going to place on your metro line and you can't cross over yourself. If you have to do that, if you must do that because you can't do anything else, you are out of the game. You will still score but you can't play anymore. So uh, you're going to continue playing like so until either everyone is out of the game or you run out of ticket cards, which there are 12 of them. And uh, you're going to get resources, get uh, people that you have to convey to different places. So how do they work? First, you have grannies and you circle grannies as you go from top to bottom and the top grannies are worth less points than bottom grannies and you simply sum all the points of the grannies you've picked up. For the students, you circle them up and you also visit cinemas and you are going to multiply the number of cinemas you've visited by the number of students that you've carried. And that's it, yeah, that's your score for students. For tourists, it works as rows. You are going to pick up tourists in a row and then if you visit a point of interest, a theater or a monument, you're going to score that row. In this case, for example, I have three tourists, so I score nine points for this row. And I can't score this row any longer, so this is crossed off and I may move to the next row. The flirts work in rows similar to the tourists, but they work in couples. So let's imagine that I do that and I go to a restaurant. I will ship that row to the restaurant and then if I have a couple I score six points. But let, let's imagine that I have a single flirt. It is worth two points so I would score six plus two, eight points. Again I would cross this off as this row has been delivered. We also have objectives and these objectives are checked after everyone has played in the round. You're going to check if players meet that objective and they score points. Let's imagine, for example, this one is scored, I score 10 points, we flip it, and then the players who will score it next will score less points. We also have a personal objective. If you visit the sections that are indicated, you get points. And finally, you have those metro stops. 
So the metro stops, you circle them, and if you want to use them up, you may cross them, and that allows you to place one additional segment. Additionally, if you don't use them up, they get you two points at the end of the game. There is an additional layer of scoring in the form of traffic smoothness. If you place one of your segments in a place where there is another player, you cross a bubble. If you move and place a segment where there is a yellow or burgundy uh, segment, you also get to cross a bubble. And this is a scoring uh, track and you get more points as you get towards the end of it. So as the game ends, you total up all of your scores, you remove the malices that you have taken and you get your final score. If you have the highest score, congratulations, you won the game of Get On Board Paris and Roma. So that's it for Get On Board Paris and Roma. This is a game in which you try to make a metro line that conveys the right people at the right place at the right time. Now, bye-bye, see you on the box.fr. <music>